Hey y'all, go see Tammy and Crystal live on tour in Bloomington and Marion, Illinois, Huntsville, Alabama, Cary, North Carolina, Bahamas Cruise on March 22nd through 25th, and get tickets and merch at eatmytrash.com. And go see our pal Jeremiah Watkins live on tour in Spokane, Washington, Palm Beach, Florida, New York, Nashville, Austin, West Bend, Wisconsin, Kansas City, and every second Tuesday of the month you can see Stand Up on the Spot at the World Famous Comedy Store in LA. And it's in New York this month on March 26th with Dan Soder, Karen Fisher, Joe List, and Therapy Gecko. Get tickets at JeremiahWatkins.com. Thanks, y'all. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Trailer Tales. I'm Dave Gunther. And I'm Crystal. And I'm and I'm Crystal. And I'm Tammy. And something's really just eating my cheese right now. You're not happy. Um something's really, really, really peeving me right off because Crystal just made a confession to me. Like thirty seconds ago. Thirty seconds before we started recording this podcast. And it's really upsetting to be honest. Because she said that she just noticed something that was funky smelling every time that she went to her microphone. Didn't say funky. What'd you say, huh? I said this whole time I thought that the smell that's coming off this foam was your breath for the, all these episodes we've done. And you thought it was stank. I thought it was a bad breath smell. So rather than tell me to go get a mint or a gum or a jawbreaker or a dot. Lifesaver. A nerd. A starburst, mm-hmm. a milk dud, a get- cert, a what? Cert, a cert. I don't know what that you is. don't remember certs? Uh, uh-uh. uh, no. <laughs> you remember cert? Cert? <laughs> Are you certain that's a real candy? <laughs> cert. What uh, is cert? How do you spell it's cert? C e r t. Looks just like a life. Um, you know the lifesavers. Yeah, like the gummy lifesavers. The, but the they're mint. smaller and they're hard and they're mint. Okay called cert they had red cinnamon flavor green spearmint and blue winter like a tic tac yeah but they came in a round uh thing and they were called certs okay well assert never heard of that one well i feel asserted right now because she's been thinking that what did you say it smelled like bad breath but here's the deal had i said to you the first time i smelled it go get yourself a cert and you would have got one, but really your breath wasn't the thing stinking. So you would have had what's called a complex. That whole time thinking you were stinking, you would have been. But as I sat here and got ready and gave it a sniff, and I said, well, damn, that ain't even him that's stinking. It's this foam. Yeah. Foam on her microphone. Foam on the microphone. So she's been thinking that I'm Mr. Dead Tooth Guy just living life next to her. Well, not a dead tooth. Maybe a tooth that had had a root canal and that maybe needed a second root canal or maybe you had a gum a gum issue. She's been thinking I'm senior abscess to her right, <laughs> just living la vida loca in the boca. And guess what? She still loved you. She still treated you with kindness. Mm-hmm. She wasn't rude to you or nothing about it. Now, if you were sitting by me and I thought you stunk, I would have said something. I would have said, hey, your f***ing mouth stinks. Thank you. I would have said it. I would have said it too okay. if I smelled anything. Well, guess what? If my breast stinks, don't tell me. Really? Don't tell you about an ailment or something that's wrong with you? Because I've had a lifetime of people telling me, oh, you you stink, your breast stinks, your hair's ugly. I know those things. I don't need people to reinforce it. So I'm not trying to reinforce pain to nobody. If I say to you, you have bad breath and you did have bad breath, you're going to walk upstairs and cry. Now I'm going to go get a toothbrush and scrub my tongue. And then for the rest of the day, you're going to be thinking, man, how long have I been stinking and doing this? Or licking your hand. So you were really trying to look out for me? It's all about looking out for you. Everything I do is looking out for you. You think this is a game? I just licked that hand, so don't touch it. Everything Everything I do do for you you is is out out of of love. love. 
And And even even if if your breath breath stinks, stinks, I still still love love you. you. Uh, uh, cert, cert on the count of no, three. three. One, two, three. three. Cert. Well, I'm sorry I got that upset with you right off the podcast. Then. <sighs> I mean, I'm just sitting here relaxing before we start filming and doing very vigorous debating. And you're turn the camera on. Turn the camera on. Get what she's saying. <laughs> you wanted people to know that I thought you had bad breath. Yeah, I did want you to know because that's something that I can't live with. I can't live with being bad breath guy i've got another other stuff going on in my life there are like my hygiene is premier for me well guess what you got the best of both worlds here she ain't gonna say nothing to you but i will i guess that's what they call a yin yang then okay you got a yin yang here you got a six nine here you're the yin yang twins okay uh, yeah, exactly yin yang twins right here yeah and you know what he said oh, to I me right after we uh ate lunch huh. He looked at me, and I thought we were just talking and chit-chatting. He goes, go like this. And I went like that, and he said, other side, and I did it. And he goes, you got it. And I said, great. Now, I've been walking around with the booger. Did you want to walk around longer? The first thing she actually said was, I wanted to keep that there. Uh, I said it as a defense mechanism because... (laughs) It worked on me. It worked uh, on me, but it also made me feel bad. Like, I didn't know if you were growing a pet up there or something. So this is a great great little little thing to debate about. Would you tell people if their breath stank or they had something on them or in them or around them, would you tell them or would you let them walk around like that? That's called a Christmas test. Because that, that's a, I mean, people are, that's split 50-50. I mean, I think. I would much rather have somebody just tell me that there's something on my right. face. Me too. Because my mom will always say growing up, she'd say, she'd say, You're, it takes a real friend to tell you that you got a booger in your nose. Your enemies will let you keep it there. Yeah. I like that saying. So I'm curious of what everybody else thinks. Well, you know? I, I think it's your enemy that wants you to be self-conscious mm. and so, be critical of your own self and thinking... You know, drive a booger, drive bad breath. Does my behind stink? So, so just you, walk through life without worrying about all those things. So you've had some real psychological warfare done to you a lot. It sounds yes, like. yes. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to really revisit it because I am still healing. But I don't. If I have a mole that has a hair grown out of it, or you know, whatever is going on with me that's weird, don't tell me. Have enough respect for me as an individual to bypass it and look past it. Because you, you don't think she can't see a mole with a hair sticking out of it? You, you think she can't see that? It's on her fucking forehead. Of course she can see it. She's going to see it. Okay? She don't need you telling her that it's there when she knows it's there. But that's me, you know. Uh, you obviously have a different personal preferences. Y'all want to know. And that's because you're secure enough in your own selves. You know, I'm not. I know. Well, as your friends, what we're going to try to do over the course of this podcast is keep building you up. Just because this we, episode or all the episodes? No, all the episodes. Because we believe in you and we love you and we want you to be the most secure person that you want to be. Well, this I'm, I'm good at this level I'm at. This is comfortable for me. You you're done. Okay. You're you're I'm done. I'm done rising. Oh, she's done rising. Okay. It's like the phoenix that rose from the flame and just kind of hovered over it. That's where I like being. I don't want to be too extreme. Okay. Because then people expect a lot from you. You stay here at mediocre. Nobody expects nothing from nobody you. Nobody notices because you're not growing too big. <laughs> Makes okay. sense. Okay. And they can't say things like, oh, she's getting too big for her pants. Oh, she's on a famous podcast. Her head's getting too big. They're not going right. to say those things. Leave right. a comment below what what side you're on. Yeah. Where Would you rather have someone tell you that something's up with your face or just keep it to themselves? Because I, I can't wait to read these comments. Yeah. That's, that's, that's for sure. And that kind of ties into something that is pretty upsetting that happened to all of us recently. And you were talking about... You know, getting a little bit more fame with this mm-hmm. podcast and mm-hmm. stuff like that. The, listen, the podcast is growing. 
Okay. The podcast has grown big since we've been doing them weekly. Um, it's a regular podcast. It's a regular, normal podcast, and we've been, you know, charting, charting every week. And I just, I know there's a lot of people listening and watching right now, and I want to let you guys know we got a little PSA for you. Okay. There's a lot of danger in the world. All right. And we don't want you guys to fall victim of what we fell victim to. So that's what we're going to talk about here for a few minutes. Okay. So listen, long story short, we started making a little bit of money off the podcast. Okay. A little bit here and there. And we've all been talking about, hey, how can we invest and make our money more? We're trying to multiply a little pool of money that we have. And it's not a huge pool. It's not an in-ground pool. It's a little kitty pool. Right. Of money, right, right. To put it in analytics. Well, we've been we've been talk, talking about what should we invest in. Well, long story short, okay. I saw a comment that said, "Hey, turn two thousand dollars into two million in thirty days by investing in blah 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 blah." Well, man, my clip perked up. You know, because I'm thinking that's exactly how much money we had tied together: two thousand dollars. Okay, and I I sent the comment to you guys, and I said, you guys, this is it. We're going to be millionaires. Tur- put our monies together, and let's invest, and in 30 days, we'll have $2 million to split between us. Yeah. Okay, seemed great, didn't it? Well, that's way more money than what we would have started with, so that uh, sounded good. Yeah. It sounded so, almost too good to be it, to be true. It too. did, but things do things like that do happen. Mm-hmm. So it's it's not completely because you start to think why not me yeah why is it not my time right now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you know we put our money together mm-hmm. we we I've, it was I will say I've never had to get a traveler's check at a bank before mm-mm. I thought that was a little bit strange but I've also never made real money before right. so I was like this is just part of the the right. protocols of it so I messaged the guy on Facebook. You know, and he said pretty much like all these uh, little investors, which you guys will be a part of, are going to go in on a strip mall. OK, a little, a little strip mall outside of town. And uh, basically, they're going to flip it and resell it for two million dollars. And I said, that's what we want in on. We want real estate. We want to be real estate tycoons. OK, so what we do, we all went down to the Chase Bank, put our ATM card in there, took out cash. Withdrawal. We withdrawal. did a, we did withdrawal. a withdrawal. Okay. Dave went down to Kroger and did a cashier's check. Okay. And this guy seemed legit. We hopped on the phone with him and everything. And he said, he said, so this, this is absolutely legit. Uh, you guys don't need to sign no paperwork or nothing. We'll deal with all that once your millions get here and all that. And I, he seemed like a really nice family man. And I will say in foresight, when I do think about it, he said legit about 30 times on the he, phone, he and that should have been a red flag for us. It should have been, but I thought he was legit because he kept saying I he thought was. he was too legit to quit, to be honest. Right. And poor Crystal, you know, she she trusts us. She trusts me. I'm usually the one that really that really makes the decisions and, hey, Crystal, we should do this, you know. And what mm-hmm. have you always said? What Tammy says goes. I, and, I, and, and you always say, I trust you, Tammy. I trust you. I trust you. Well, I'm sorry I let you down because here's what happened. Okay? Dave went down, sent him a cashier's check. Okay? Sent this guy a cashier's check. We never even got his last name. Okay? Sent the whole $2,000, which, by the way, mm. was everything that we've made on the podcast. That's... Mm. and That's a lot of episodes by now. That's a lot of work. I mean, we got robbed okay i mean everything that we've made every penny is gone from this podcast okay and you send him the cashier's check and i didn't hear from him for a while and he said i'll be in contact in 48 hours 48 hours went by and i wanted to make sure he got the cashier's check went on facebook to send him a message profile was deleted that's what i knew that's what i knew Deleted his profile. And I said, well, maybe they deleted his profile like they did my Instagram a while back. Mm-hmm. You know, I said, maybe uh, Facebook got him. You know, he's going to contact me another way. Okay. We hadn't heard from him since. 
So there I, ain't no strip mall. No, there ain't no strip mall because I got a friend that uh, I got I got a friend that knows a guy whose brother sells real estate, and I went to him and I said, "Hey, uh, what's where's this strip mall? Because I'll go down there. I'll go down there and kick his ass. I'll go down to the strip mall and kick his ass while they're flipping it." And he said, "Tammy, there ain't no strip mall. You got taken advantage of, and the money's gone." It's just the most amount of money I've ever had in my entire life. And to have it ripped away like that, I just, it hurts. And it hurts because it takes me back to being a little kid in school and my teacher saying that I'm not good enough. And it just makes me feel kind of stupid and it makes me feel kind of dumb. So it's just Oh, it makes you feel, makes you feel like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Because I'm the one, I'm the, I'm the one that really set this up for you guys. I thought we was doing something good. And here's the deal. The real estate guy said, Tammy, don't ever don't ever send nobody no wire check and don't ever uh make sure you sign pa- make sure you, you know, you sign papers. And I didn't sign no papers. You don't sign papers with friends. And I exactly. thought this guy was our friend. He even accepted the friend request on Facebook. Have I ever had you sign a paper? No. Have I ever had nope. you sign a paper? Not once. You've never slipped a contract in front of my ass. Ever. So it's just, just unbelievable. Look out is what we're saying. Basically, just look out. If you see a comment on your YouTube or Instagram that says "promise in the world," you know, don't nine get, times don't, out of ten it ain't promising. Just you don't nothing. get scammed. That's what we're trying to say. Don't get scammed. Be on the lookout. Okay, make sure you know the person. Make sure you meet the person. Make sure you know his last name. Make sure. Just don't spend your life savings. We're lucky we still have our private funder, to be honest. Because if that if that money would have been gone, we we might have had to end everything. I know. I would have jumped off the side of my trailer, but it's not tall enough. No, oh, it's only four feet. Yeah. So if you ever have a guy on Facebook asking you for money, don't give it to him. No. That's a scam. If it's Instagram, I don't know how much scamming goes on there. Maybe a pri- maybe a real estate guy would message you on Instagram. I don't know. But Facebook oh, yeah. for sure. Because it's so easy. All they have to do is go into their account and press delete. And they're gone. Never to be seen they're gone. from again. We even called the phone number that he originally gave us. Mm-hmm. We're sorry. Mm-hmm. The person you have giant is not a family. Right. Mm-hmm. And I thought, at first I thought, okay, he got his phone cut off. That happens to me all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, that happens to me. Life happens. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. But sure enough, I'm, I'm, you know, and, and at first I didn't want to believe it, but I believe it now. I think we've been scammed. But you know what? You know what y'all can do? You can like and you can comment mm-hmm. and you can mm-hmm. share with friends because that's how more people find out about it. Mm-hmm. And that's how y'all are supporting us and we love you for that. And we're going to try to take the chip off of our shoulder, eat it, put it back out into the universe and get back on the horse and ride it. Right. All right, we're getting back on. Now, will the likes and subscribes give us back our $2,000? No. No. It will not. And that's okay. That's fine. You know, because we got our private funder, and he's going to keep the podcast funding. And mm-hmm. As long as you guys are listening and supporting us, we'll be here. We'll be here. He said as long as there's always at least one person listening, it's worth it for him. Right. One person. That's all it takes is one person. Would we like to have more than one person? Sure. Yeah. We'd love to have at least a couple hundred. I mean, that'd be nice. That's the goal. That'd be a dream come true. I haven't looked at the numbers recently, but hopefully we're hitting that. Right. That'd be great. That'd be a dream come true. Yeah. (laughs) But we have been climbing the charts. Yeah. Okay. So we appreciate you guys and and we just want you guys to be careful out there and don't fall for nothing. And speaking of that, we have been getting more emails. (laughs) Yes, we have. We have been. Yes, we have. Okay. So this one comes from Stephanie Valentine. Um, she said, uh, do you know FMK? Do you know what that means? The would you rather? I sure do. A little FMK? Yep, I do. Mary, can we say it on? Yeah. We can't say certain words on. Yeah, we can't say certain words. They'll, uh, they'll un, what's it called? Demonic ties. Demonic ties us. Yeah. But do you guys want to play? Yeah. Mary. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say ill. I hate Ill. doing FMK. Oh. I hate to I hate to do the last one. 
So what I say is I displace them. Do fuck Mary Punch. I just say displace. Okay, displace. FMD. Okay. I don't know what it really means. Because I'm not <laughs> I'm not one of those people. No, she's a very nice person. Okay. I'm not. I'll kill you. <laughs> um this says she's a big fan. First off. Thank you. For years, she said. Wow. Thank okay. y'all. For years. Stephanie's been a fan of y'all's. Um both of us or just one of us? It says both. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. It says life changing. Life changing. Wow. Thank no, you. No mention of me, but that's okay. okay. Now, it, it does go on to say, Tammy, Crystal, Dave, mm. would you rather have juice or soda for the rest of your life? No water allowed. That's Ooh, good. I lo- listen. That's a dream I, come true I, for I, me. I, you hate water. Crystal will not drink water. Why? Right. Now, I love both. I love sodas, but I love some orange juice, some apple juice. Like I pineapple juice. Pine, yeah, I love juice. Yeah. What about prune juice? No, I'm gonna skip that. Yeah, that's a that's that's an old lady treat for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Wait till I hit what? sixty on that. What you mean, an old lady treat? It's an old lady treat. It's, when I when I when you she said she likes apple juice, do I say that's a toddler's drink? She got you there. A grown man can like apple juice too. Yeah, but they give it to babies so the babies can go poop. Okay, well, babies also drink milk, and I drink full glasses of whole milk. Does that make me a damn baby? No, that makes you disgusting, though. <laughs> really? Milk? Milk? Do you not like milk? I love milk. Do you like drinking white liquid that comes out of another animal's teat? Sounds hot to me. You do like tits. Big time. He said back ticks, front ticks, small ticks, <laughs> yeah. little tits. Hey, you have a good memory. Tits. Is it tits or something else? Yeah. Well, anyway, I was getting off track. I'm so sorry. So the prune juice, I just feel like it's an older person it is. delicacy. Yeah. It most certainly is. Yeah. I'm going to go with juice. That's I what think. I was going to say. And listen, I love me a good big fountain soda, but I feel like you got more variety of flavor. Grape juice. That's it. But have you ever seen those fountain things that have a grape, cherry, strawberry, lemon, and lime But yeah, you, you can push me. and just add it in there? Damn, you got me there, too. You mm. get your juice and your soda. It's called the loophole. Damn, she's smart. Trailer Tales! Hooked on Cards is reeling in so many catches, you think you're at a pay lake. They are ripping the hottest sealed wax on the market 365 days of the year with auctions starting at $1 for teams and products like Flawless, okay, National Treasures, Spectra, and Honors, okay? You're sure to get a great value with Hook. Tell them. Yep, they got cards for all the goats. They got a goat named Patrick Mahomes. They got the goatest of the goat, uh, Justin Jefferson. Okay, and they also got Joe Burrow on there. Now listen, I don't know what position he plays. All I know is I follow him on Instagram because he's good looking. I like to look at him. But guess who's getting a card now? Me. Yep. And what else can I get on there? Well, you can get jerseys there too. They've got NFL quality jerseys. And guess what? They hooked me up with a Travis Kelsey jersey. You can check it out right behind me. It's pretty cool. And they also got the little catch and the big catch, and that'll make you say that you're reeling in one of one RPAs of all the top players, such as the goats that Crystal may have mentioned. Okay, and if you're a football angler, okay, or you just like looking at football players like us, (laughs) okay, go ahead and follow Hooked on Cards on Instagram, okay? And go to hookedoncards.com for the largest variety of NFL breakouts, okay? Yep, the largest variety NFL breaks out there. Follow Hooked On Cards on Instagram and go get your cards and jerseys at hookedoncards.com. So you're talking about Cherry Coke now. I'm talking about Cherry Coke, Cherry Sprite, Cherry Mountain Dew. You can add it to any one of those fountain flavors. Cherry Root Beer, Cherry Skeet. What's that called? Skeet. Squirt. Ski. Squirt. Skeet? Squirt. Oh, squirt. Mm-hmm. Skeet's something else. Skeet has come. 
Well, you could add you, you could add it right. to that too. Yeah, make it taste better. Ch- gonna, cherry gonna, skeet, cherry skeet. <laughs> I want to go with uh, soda pop, where you could add flavors. Good Wait, call, Crystal. Mm-hmm. You're changing. I'm changing. You're changing camps. I think so. Hmm. I'm changing. I want a big fountain drink with squirt and skeet. Wow, that's such a such a shock. Why? That's such a shock that all of a sudden. All of a sudden, it's you two against Dave. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. All of a sudden, I was Team Tammy at the beginning of this. And then all of a sudden, oh, Crystal makes a a few good damn points. And then all of a sudden. She made the best point. Oh, really? So if we're not adding squirt and skeet, I would stick to the uh, juice. But we're adding cherry. We're adding lime. We're adding vanilla. I'm going with that that's the thing about debating that's why there are debates yep. to convince that's what debate means in latin to convince right we're not debating just to be up here talking we're debating we're debating to try to convince people hey you want to drink soda hey you want to drink you give me enough time i'll have you drinking prune juice by the end of the day <laughs> i will not be drinking prune juice by the end of the day watch really it's called debate She'll get your ass. Root word, Latin, to convince. Bait, to stroke. Someone's exactly. ego, da bait. Yes, you got it. Exactly. So you're sticking with your juice? You going to stick with the juice, a little juice boy? Don't call me <laughs> juice boy. You're going to grow up and be with the big gals with the fountain sodas. Oh, you know what? I'm staying with juice because okay. you know what? I think if you drink juice every day, you're going to lead a longer and healthier life than if you drink that pop every day. <laughs> okay. We're gonna and you're not allowed fun. to have water. We're going to be having more fun. That's elitist thinking, first of all. Right. Really? Because Don't call me no elitist. Tell them why. You're that, getting... that little little thing of apple juice, 13 grams of sugar. A can of a Coke, nine you're getting more sugar in this than something's supposed to be. Oh, it's supposed to be healthy. Oh, we're going to become health influencers on Instagram. Well, guess what? Throw it in the trash. Crystal, 34 grams of carbs. Trying to be healthy? 34 grams of carb? You, you might, might as well eat well, a pizza. You might as well eat a pizza. Stuff a pizza in there. Might as well put a c- bunch of cigarettes in there First and smoke of all, them. I peed in this earlier. Okay. Is there same amount of grams of sugar in it? Oh, let's tell a different liquid. Okay. Well, probably because you've been drinking juice all day and your pee's got a lot of glucose in I it. I will not drink prune juice. Don't cast a spell on me. I don't want it. Have you ever tried it? No. Hmm. Wow. Have you ever had your bowels move so easily you ain't got a strainer or even use one of them squatty potties? Get you some prune juice. You're going to say it's going to open up my backside like a flower? That's what I'm saying. And it lubes up the hole inside so you don't got to push. It just glides and slides out. Interesting that you are promoting prune juice so much. It seems like you might be switching back sides, Crystal. I'm Again. not switching. I think you might be switching back sides let's, to the juice side of things, huh? Let's go back to the root word for debate to convince. So you are convincing yourself that juice, part of prune, is better Pru- than the pop or the soda juice. Now, prune juice is great for you. Yes. It's good for your arteries, good for your bowels. Good so for far, it. y'all have been singing the praises of juice way more than pop in the last couple minutes. Oh, pop's just good. Pop just tastes good. But we're talking every day. Yeah. Are you still going to choose soda or are you going to choose juice? Soda. You think we can afford to go into a store and start buying shelves of juice? We'll be bankrupt. Oh, God. Soda costs 99 cents. You get 44 ounces and drink on it half a day. Well, I could have afforded juice every day if somebody wouldn't have lost our money. I'm sorry I said that out loud. That was an inside thought. You're the one that me. went and got the cashier's check. So who's and really me- to blame? And overnighted it to him. Because I wanted to get there in time. In time for what? No matter, no matter if we get scammed, scammed or, or what, what, it does it not, not matter, matter who, did who did it, 
who, who will, will do, do it, it or who, who did. did and who initiated it. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. No matter, no matter what, what, we'll be friends. Friends, 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 friends on three. three. One, two, two three. three. Friends. Sometimes we just need that reset. Yeah. It would help me out a lot if one of you switched back to the juice side, though. All right, I'll drink a juice. No, if you say it like that, it doesn't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. No, I want a, I want a cherry vanilla Coke. A woman of my size doesn't survive on juice alone. So I'm just going to say that. If I want to maintain the size, I drink soda all day, and that's what I do. So are you going over to juice? Are you going to sacrifice? I'd like to not, but that if he's like, going to guilt me into it. That was beautiful. That was like a Robert Frost poem. A woman of my size will not survive on juice alone. You can't. You can't. And if y'all are listening to the audio and not not watching, if you've never watched the podcast, uh, Crystal is a lady of size, not really from the front, but you turn around and she's got the biggest ass you've ever seen. Yeah, you see just a picture in my head, you think, oh, that's a normal size woman. Right. Then I you zoom that camera out, guess what? Big. Daddy's coming home for dinner. <laughs> and he's going to eat good tonight. And he ain't never going to stop eating. He'll be eating all night. Mm -hmm. It's like all you can eat buffet 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right. And and we're not talking about um, uh, uh, food that ain't good. We're talking mm -hmm. pot roast. We're talking uh, baked potatoes. We're talking uh, we're talking the good shit. And that, gravy. Too. Gravy. Gravy. Okay. Brown and white. You got two options well, back there. Maybe not the brown. Well, <laughs> as much as the, you know. Yeah. The cream color. So she 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 is a heavy set woman. Ass so fat that people honk when people, they're driving by. People have honked. Yelled out their windows. Damn, that's a fat ass. Mm -hmm. You get that a lot. And I'm proud. Yeah. You like it when guys cat call you? Oh, I love it. When you spend a lifetime, you know, of men cat calling you, you grow to appreciate, oh, they're complimenting me. Yeah, you know, there's a, there's women in this world that have not been cat called once. You realize that there's women in this world who are against cat calling. Can I make a confession? Yeah, I get cat called from the back every once in a while because people don't realize that I'm a man. Mm. What do they say? Hey, show me your pussy, mm -hmm. and then I turn around, and then they go, "Dear <laughs> God." Yeah. That is the biggest man bird I've ever seen in my life. That's not nice. Excuse me, sir. Good day. It's that feminine energy you're presenting. Feminine energy. This is the way you walk, too. You walk very feminine. You do. I walk like a man. Okay. What other kinds of things do they say when they cat call you? I'll be walking. I'll be walking. They're like, hey, you sugar tits, does the back match the front? And I go, no, it doesn't. Mm. <laughs> and then they go, uh, uh, I got thrown holy water on me once. By a priest? Yeah, the priest was catcalling me for some reason. That is wild. Yeah. I love being catcalled. Do you? Nothing fills my heart up with joy. It makes my, you know, my clit perk up. And you, it, you mentioned that a few times. Is that kind of like, like dog ears, like on a hunting dog? It'll just... It'll just kind of uh, imagine this is the the tip of my fingers, my clit. Like when it when I get excited, it'll just kind of go. <laughs> it'll just kind of it'll just kind of move and perk up a little bit, um, get me throbbing. But I love when I get cat called. Then the dirtier the better. Really? I don't want to hear. Oh, you are beautiful. It's like <laughs> okay, I know. Can, <laughs> you can know, we try can, some cat calls on you? Oh, who's gonna do it? I'll like do with, one. Okay. And I'll and I'll rate it from a one to ten. I love this game. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm walking by. Hey, little lady, you look like you need a rest. You want to sit on my face? Whoa! I'll give that a five. Okay. That was pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Try again. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Thunder, you looking for lightning in the sheets? No, a one. That was a one. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. You didn't. No. You didn't like that at all. Because why would you have thunder and lightning in a bed? What do you mean? That was probably the dumbest thing you could have said. Okay. Kay. Can I get another Let's one? Let's try it again. Ready? Okay. You want to get fisted? 
that gets my attention, but it doesn't make me perk up. So I need a second part to that. Yeah. Okay. You want me to say that? Say it to me. Ready? I'm kind of uncomfortable. Do you want me to say that? Okay. I want to... I would melt right there. I would melt, and I'd probably even marry you. I'd sign the marriage certificate. I'd be over at your house in five minutes. I'd melt, and I'd probably tell you I loved you by the night it end. Even though, even though I didn't, I'll just tell you that. Probably have you drinking prune juice. Right, and I'd have you drinking prune juice. I mean, if I was on the bottom, and we were making love, and, you know, you're going to town on me, and you shoved prune juice in my mouth, that would be one way I would accept it. What if I put like a little, uh, what are those called? Uh, beakers, you know, they're using scientific uh, mm -hmm. exploration. Mm -hmm. A beaker full of prune juice into my canal. <laughs> my vaginal canal. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. And just said, go down on me. And as soon as you go down, I just release. Squirt release. prune juice. Release. You squirt prune juice into my mouth? <laughs> You'd have no choice. You'd have no choice. But to accept the gift I'm given. Well, since I've never had prune juice before, I'd probably be like, wow, Crystal has a different kind of squirt. Right. I don't know why it's purple. Right. But it's making something perk up. And Crystal, that's genius. To get a beaker and fill up yeah. your... Yes. That's the only way you can fill it up, really, that or a turkey baster. But I like beakers because they're reusable. You can yeah. wash them and use them for other experiments. Mm. Makes sense. Mm. Yeah. That's genius. Wow. <laughs> but I love being catcalled. The dirtier, the better. Um, and, and now, you know, men out there listening, maybe don't do this to other women. I don't know. A lot of people hate it. But if you ever see me, if you ever see me out in public, just know the dirtier, the better. Can you try to cat call me? Okay. Okay. Am I pretending you're a lady and I'm a man, or what are we doing? Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let me think of something. Let me think of some good stuff uh, guys have said to me. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Hey, you fat bitch. You want, to, you want me to stick this chicken leg up your pussy? Because I'll do it right now, baby. Am I rating it as you or me? That's something I've been told. Cat call wise, it's one of the most memorable ones I've ever. A chicken leg, mm -hmm. and it happened, and we did it. Mm -hmm. Yep, we did it. I'll give that a six. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, you don't have a say because you don't know cat call. You don't know good cat call. You sit there and said thunder and lightning. Interesting that when you don't get the response that you want, that the rating system is off. But you don't know the rating system, is what I'm saying. I just learned it. So what's a cat call that you would get excited about? What's something that you'd hear you'd say, oh, yeah, there, my now my d perking, or my penis is perking. Um, what's one what that would it would... take? Uh, I want to make some cereal with my d for you in the morning and, and call you a d master d that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. A little PG. You know, I wanted to be dirtier, but that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got something for y'all. Yeah. Do y'all know that there's an actual movement that says that catcalling's not okay? It's called the Me Too movement? Listen, yes. I have heard of that, and that's why I just said it's maybe, maybe it's not okay to say to ladies. That's why I said if you see me... I'm pre-giving you permission to do it. Consent. She, yes. She's not all women. Right. Do I wish she was all women? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm every woman. It's all in me. Love to be a cat called baby. It's one of my favorite things about this uh, podcast program is that we just pick up and sing for any reason mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah, I mean... Honestly, P.O.D. has one of the most extensive catalogs out mm -hmm. of any band. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. They're all over the place, and they're amazing. One of the best bands out there. What yeah. if one day P.O.D. came on this podcast? Shut up. Do you think we could get them someday? Yeah. Do you think we can get them? 
Yeah. Tag him on Instagram. Say, hey, P.O.D., you think how many followers would it take for us to get yeah, you on how, our podcast? How can we get P.O.D. on the podcast? P.O.D., if you're listening, we need you on the podcast. Please come on our podcast. I mean, you can't even do a podcast without P.O.D. No. It's literally in the name. <laughs> Holy sh- Wow. You're right. You're right. Wow. Smart. We got to get them on the pod. We'll get them on here before the 100th episode. Because we I know really what think- the 100th episode is. Yeah, we do. The big reveal. Can we stop making this a thing that that's what we're building up to? Okay. On the 100th episode? We'll pretend we forget about it for the next uh, dozen episodes or so. How about that? That would be appreciated. Okay. We'll for- pretend we forget about it, but we're not forgetting about it. You have a quality about you? What? That you say something sometimes. Huh? And... You act like you're being agreeable, but you're not agreeing with the person at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? You do this thing huh. where sometimes you look at me, you're like, yeah, that'll happen. Where <laughs> but behind you know the lying. eyes. You know I'm lying. Yeah, I know you're lying, okay? We've been friends a long time. We grew up together in the same trailer park, okay? Yes, we did. I grew up two doors down. Yes, you did. Actually, three doors down. Great band. Yes. If I go crazy, then will you you still still call me Superman? Superman. If If I'm alive, then where will you be there to hold in my hand? I'll I'll take you by my side with my superhuman, my kryptonite. Yeah! Thank you guys so much for watching the podcast this week. We're out of time. Is that it? That's it. That's the whole thing. In here, because I never know when it's over. Well, he tells us. How do you know? He just knows. I Is just your know biological what clock clicking? Yeah, women have a biological clock with babies, and I have a biological clock with podcasts. Makes sense. Okay. That's cool. Well, hey, I had a wonderful time uh, doing the podcast, I've I, and I'll do it you know, until I'm blue in the face, as long as you guys keep watching. Okay? Yeah. Don't fall victim to all the horrible people in the world. Stay safe. Mm-hmm. Okay? And and uh, be good to everybody unless they don't deserve you to be good to them. And, and, uh, don't else? cat call everybody. Don't cat Get call. Get consensual first. Don't, yeah. Say, it, hey, can I cat call you? Just say, ma'am, can I cat call you? And just and if they say no, be like, have a good day. Even if you're driving by, can I cat call you? Yes. And then if you hear yes, you got a fat ass. Like, then, there right. you go. If what you if don't get you, a response, you keep driving. What if you say, hey, can I cat call you? And they go, what? And you go, hey, can I cat call you? And they go, what? And you say, hey, can I cat call you? But then by that time, you already drove You're by. gone. Yeah, you know? Well, so, some of this is timing, and some things aren't meant to be. Right. That's beautiful. That's really how it works. That's beautiful. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week with another episode of Trailer Tales. Love you guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Damn. How long would that feel like 10 minutes? Trailer Tales!